I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. A man is in jail this afternoon accused of stabbing someone inside the 15th and Denver Quick Trip. Police found the victim inside the store stabbed multiple times. That person was sent to the hospital. Police say they found Clifton Grayson not far from the scene matching the suspect's description. Officers say Grayson is also the person seen on surveillance during the stabbing. Grayson has been booked into jail for assault with a deadly weapon. The OSBI is also investigating after a two-month-old died in Major County in western Oklahoma over the weekend. Deputies say 23-year-old Dustin Lamb is now behind bars for child abuse in connection to his child's death. Authorities tell us it all started when the infant was rushed to the hospital for having trouble breathing. That's when doctors discovered the baby had multiple injuries to the head and torso. So the baby later died in the hospital and Lamb was booked into the major county jail. And authorities are investigating after a house explodes near Oklahoma City. The Midwest City home was vacant, but officials say the gas was on for some unknown reason. No one was injured. However, officials say two other homes nearby received some damage. Neighbors say they did smell gas in the area over the last few days, but officials say no one reported it. And let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Well, for this evening, we are going to see that increased chance for rain showers as we head throughout your evening commute. Temperature is also dropping by 6 and 7 o'clock into those lower 40s now. We do have the chance of not only rain, but wintry mix and even a couple of snowflakes as we head into the overnight hours. So this is going to start mainly after midnight where we'll start to see some of that wintry mix take place as those winds are shifting out of the north could be gusty up to 25 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy for the start of your Wednesday clearing up by your Wednesday afternoon and then from there on out. The week's looking pretty nice as we head into the weekend. Temperatures are rebounding back into those upper 60s by Sunday with sunshine on the way for your Saturday as well. Increased cloud cover as we head into late Sunday and then the chance for rain and even storms possible on Monday. Erin. All right. Thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.